Hey everybody, huge thanks for tuning in. I'm super stoked to be hanging out with a good friend of mine, Mendy Green. Uh, and Mendy, you're up to some incredible stuff these days. I know you're busy, running all over the place, but what is on the horizon for you? What is it? MSP Geek Con 2025, is that right? That is right, John. We, we've we been planning MSP Geek Con 2025 since we stopped MSP Geek Con 2024. <laughs> Uh, the, the, Funny how it happens that way, yeah. <laughs> it's like you take a breath for 2024 being done, and in reality you're like breathing in for the next conference. It's right around the corner. It's, it's just how it works. Um, but I've been hearing through chatter, and I, and I obviously like when I was at the MSP, which I'm not anymore, but I was for quite a while, I lived in a bubble, and I think a lot of MSPs do, um, about like what industry looks like, what, you know, what does business look like. So I've been reaching out to like everyone I know, what to do, what how they run their business and things like that. And it it struck me how cutthroat everything is. You know, like Ooh. I brought up community in the IT industry, talking to somebody who works in, in internal IT only, and I was expecting it to go a different way. I was thinking it would go positive. And he was like, Yeah, it's amazing how cutthroat the IT industry is, the community is. I'm like, wait a second, are we in the same like this? This doesn't sound like my community. I don't know what you're talking about. Like IT people generally have a habit of helping each other, right? Like they enjoy helping each other. They share knowledge. That's what happens. And then I was talking to another person who is in the security industry and he mentioned a similar kind of thing about how the security industry is, is also the security community is very much not uh, working together. And I was like, what are you talking about? He elaborated for me. He's like, within the practitioners, it's very community friendly. Like they're, they're very much helping each other. But when it gets to the C-level um, or business side of the security industry, it is so cutthroat and they are not community focused. And like for me, community is everything to me because like that's what literally drove my career. Like I didn't really know anything. I, didn't, I couldn't grasp how much I didn't know. Like I couldn't even write PowerShell. I knew it existed. I had no idea what it was, you know, like how to use it. And then within joining a community, I'm not even kidding, within two months of joining a community, I'm writing SQL, I'm writing PowerShell. So I have a lot to be thankful because of it. And so like, I, I find it to be very important and I want basically to share this with everyone because that's what happens when you get learn from a community is you want to share it. And so like, for me, I was like, you know, I got to talk to John. What are you thinking? What do you see from the community side? Like how do people interact here? Um, Especially because, like, right now it's very prevalent. The conference that we're throwing in 2025 is primarily focused. The theme we're doing is one team, one mission. It's primarily focused around community, right? Like, coming together and how we can align goals and accomplish what we need to together. So this is the reason why I wanted to reach out and talk to you about Because, like, this has been bugging me since I've been talking to other people. Like, tell me a bit about what you've seen in the world outside of or even maybe inside the MSP that's, like, you know, not necessarily spoken about about community. Ooh, I like this. I like it a lot. I've had, I don't know. I feel like there are a couple hard truths to unpack, but we are still fighting the same fight at the end of the day. And to your point, like, look, the community is really what has propped us up to succeed in the way that we have. And even yeah. your case, as you mentioned, and I like to think mine just as well, I hope you dance with and play with and is just ringing through the halls for MSP Geek Con is like that camaraderie that's part of that community. When someone's right. like, hey, I'm kind of dragging a little bit. Uh, can anyone else help lift me up? And at the same time, <laughs> let's get through this thing together. Yeah. And I don't know, am I being too weird here? Or is this, is this suddenly no, a therapy I actually, session? No, I actually <laughs> like where you're going. Because like one of the things that we're struggling with is the concept of like the vendor versus MSP. What people don't understand is that if they take a moment to just look up and see what's around them and how what they can use to help support what they're doing, even just the concept of leaning on your vendors beyond just the product that they give you is part of that whole like align your goals together and work together. There are others around them that either they can help or that can help them. And, you know, doing so, either one or the other will actually help push you to the next step of whatever it is you're stuck on. I don't think you're being too weird. I think that's a very prevalent point. And I think that's something that like we're trying to fit into MSP Geekon to, to talk about as well. When we learn from experience, it's because of the journey we went through. It's because the story that happened to us, right? And so like just having or hearing the story of other people is what gives us or lets us share their experience. And so like then we can start thinking about perspectives and, and mindsets and, and what we would do in their situation based off their story. This all ties back to the community point. And, and again, under the theme of one team, one mission, 
um, that I'm struggling with and why I wanted to have this conversation. So I, I appreciate that you brought up that point. I didn't have to bring it up. No, hey, we're on the same wavelength. So background context, right? I've been with you before when we were putting together a previous MSP Geek Con, and I was super yep. grateful. And I remember then the context and sort of the framework was learning to love the journey and, and not mm -hmm. just the destination. Yep. So the talk and the presentation that I had shared was a little unorthodox i don't i don't know if folks may remember and i remember I it it's probably just something stuck in my mind because i'm the one that had to carve the trenches no, no, but, it, there was a lot of good feedback i remember it it was a good session it was well, like uh growing up, you know and how you went yeah. through life and, and the troubles you had yep kind of the origin story and really the fall from grace of what I thought was going to be career, vocation, life yep. purpose, and now trying to find something new and figure that out and get it right. Um, and it was not a technical talk. It was just right. me rambling, ranting, and yapping as I tend to. Uh, but I really hope that there's some value in, I don't know, those stories and the stories that others share in, in a similar yeah. light. One of the most favorite things that I have with MSP Geekon and all that you are putting together here is because it, it tr truly is a breath of fresh air. What I love is, yeah, it, it, it is the community that feels like, hey, there's much more togetherness, there's much more understanding and grace, and we're willing to have those hard conversations about hard truths, and it's good. It's wholesome. I don't know if that's the right word or I can say that, but that's, that's what's in my mind. But what you just nailed, I think, kind of explains it. You know, people go to the conference, they come back with a list of to-do items. Like, that's not helpful. Whereas, Can I temper that with a grain of salt? I know it's good and it's tactical sure. and actionable to have some no, sweet, I, hey, yes, bring home obviously. homework. But, but I, I, like, I already had a list of things to do. Now I have more to do. Like, what, did, what just happened with MSP Geekon, like you mentioned? And it's not like we don't have those sessions. We do have those breakout sessions that try to give you those tangibles to take away. But our, our primary core focus is around the journey, the growth, right? That's the story that we tell. And so the keynotes and everything that we do is all about giving you a new perspective, I think is the best way to put it. We're not giving you more work to do. You go back and do the same work that you already had, you know? But I'm giving you a new way of looking at it, you know? I've given you a, a recharging moment where you can lean on people who empathize with you because they're going through the same thing. You know I love it. You know I love the mission. You know I love the message. I think this is a very great thing, and I have always tried to help spread the word and spread the love and make sure folks know MSP GeekCon is coming up. How can folks get started and attend and be there, be part of it? Early Bird is, is starting or is open already as of February 1st. It's going till the end of March, so tickets are on sale at a lower price than their full price until March 31st. Dates the conference for MSP Econ, May 4th, 5th, and 6th, and it's going to be in Orlando, Florida. To go to the conference or check it out, it's mspgeekon.org, or if you want to jump straight to the ticket, mspgeekon.org slash attend will take you right to the ticket purchase page, and that's basically it. I hope to see you all there. Without a doubt, MSP Econ is one that is just so, so worth it to be with the people uh, living and going through the same thing with you so we can join up. As a community, what's that? What's that line you always use? Uh, rising tide raises all boats. Rising is that tide right? lifts all boats. Yep. Heck yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yep. All right, John. I really appreciate your kind words. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manny. I'm looking forward to it, and we'll keep in touch. Sounds good.